Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. There you are. <laughs> Tuesday the 29th of November, and I wanted to say December 2022. We have the hot water bottle, the sloth hot water bottle. He looks so cheerful, doesn't he? And we have the cat, so we have Valentine. There she is, say hi Val. Hi Val. Yeah, she's having a very vigorous wash because she's about to go to sleep. She came up, she's meowing, she's like, can we do some tarot? I said, yes, I'm about to do the daily hop on the bed. So she did. We're gonna use tarot of the 78 doors and locks and keys and chains and whatnots. We're gonna risk it for a biscuit with voodoo granny. And why not? Okay, so two things. One, the monthlies are out. Incredibly proud of the monthlies. Um, one for each sign. They're in the description box. I was tripping over my microphone. Two, there is a weekly reading out. So one with timestamps for each sign. So, ooh, so go and have a look at that one. I will put that in the description box as well. Yes. Don't say I don't spoil you. Now then, this is an amazing deck. Obviously I use a lot of decks and I use them a lot and some kind of survive better than others. This one, it's like it's brand new and I've used it loads. Superior cardstock, can I say for you tarot fanciers out there, for you fellow tarot geeks. Okay, let's have a look. No birdies to report, none, not one anywhere. One will now immediately appear. <laughs> but no, nothing, no birdies. Oh cripes, okay. Is there a bit of trouble at mill? Maybe. Ooh, ooh. Okay, cool. Got a lot of reversals going on here. Ah. But you're not in reverse. Oh, yes, you are actually. Well, we don't mind you being in reverse. Okay. Let's do widdly biddly bop lot of majors, major arcanas. So I think I'm declaring spiritual big jobs on this reading, okay, just so I can get that out there. I'm also looking for my hand cream. It's winter, what can I say? Okay. Oh God, look at, I mean, how shabby. This is what you come here for, isn't it? Tatty cloth with holes in, a pair of God knows what on the floor, Cameras at a really weird angle. Cards are all askew. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Let's try and... The weird thing is I have to make the cards not straight to make them look straight on the camera, which of course is too much for my Piscean mind. Overall energy card. We've... Oh, actually that's nice. Stuff it, we'll take it. Overall energy card, the sun. I thought it was the... Um, world in reverse but it's not it's the sun gorgeous energy apart from they do look like two people from attack on titan i don't know if any of you have watched attack on titan i'm not you know i'm not recommending it in particular although it has a very high score on imdb i watched it with the boy because he's into anime um i'm not particularly into anime but you know when you get forced to watch something you kind of appreciate it don't you You're like oh this is actually quite high quality um, but just to say that they look like they're off Attack on Titan. Okay, shout out in the comments section, please, if any of you know what I'm talking about. Not recommending it. Okay, Sun, Major Arcana. This is nice. Radiance, warmth. We've got our Sagittarius energy going and we're going to damn well use it if it kills us. It's like, yes. It's a bit of juice. It's a bit of petrol in the car. It's a bit of electric if it's an electric car. I don't even know what to say in these times, but it's fuel, okay? Fuel, if you want to do it Christmas carol styly. But then we run straight into the emperor in the reverse. And here he is. 
What's he got? Do you think like, oh, I see. There's kind of two doors right there. I was thinking we were in the territory of the emperor just going, I am the door. You know what I mean? Like in one of those samurai movies. Okay. So we have the emperor in reverse, but we also have the queen of wands in reverse. When I get the queen of wands in reverse, I know if I'm doing a love reading and I'm getting all seven of swordsy on it and three of swordsy on it and all that, and I'm like, what's going on here? And then I might get the queen of wands in reverse and I'm like, mm, someone's on the periphery being a bit of a difficult person. And I'm being very polite there. It's Queen of Bedlam, you know, in um, Fryn and Bendy Rood, the heart of the fairy oracle. I really want to say something else then, but I'm being good. Um, you get that Queen of Bedlam and everywhere she goes, she sort of chaos is in her wake and just one of those people. And this could be somebody in your vicinity who just, and I know this sounds really awful, but always needs help, but doesn't really do anything with it. Needs advice but doesn't take it, doesn't change, doesn't move, doesn't become self-sufficient or in, independent in any way. Because they are the squeaky wheel. So there's always one in a family somewhere, usually in the family dynamic. Um, and sometimes it's in a group of friends, it could be in, in a romance or in the office or whatever it is for you. It just feels a bit like there's somebody on the periphery who is a bit needy but there's nothing wrong with being needy per se it's like needy because it's a bit controlling needy please let me know in the comment section then my favorite of favorites i love this card we've got the hanged man but it's in the reverse so it becomes the stand man it's like if you imagine all the water drains out and this person is standing up and they're not in half the predicament that they appear to be in in this card Okay, a little bit sinister sometimes, Tower of the 78 Doors, isn't it? So it, Hanged Man in Reverse is like, this energy is on. It's happening, it's influential, it's flowing. So the energy is on. The Emperor in Reverse is like somebody not taking charge of something. The Queen of Wands in Reverse is someone deliberately making sure they're not good at something or not taking charge of something. And then we have, thank God, in the upright, the King of Cups. It's still slightly wonky, isn't it? King of Cups. And the King of Cups kind of looks like Poseidon, really, because it's like a merman. Um, for me, it's got a whole kind of Aladdin thing going on there as well, for some reason. And a really small door, but I mean, I guess he could swim through if he wanted to, so he's probably used to it not really a problem for him, the small door. Um, King of Cups is nice. Positive influence from a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but also mastery of feelings, which is helped by the sun card. Fire sign people are looking good in this reading. Water sign people too, but it may not even matter what star sign this person is. You need this clarity, you need the jolliness, you need a good sense of humor with this. Humour could actually just solve the whole thing and jolt it all along. This King of Cups here is getting in touch with... Getting in touch with your feelings. Um, getting in touch with your feelings. It is. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, I'm going to say journey next or something like that. It feels like recognising how you feel. But somebody else might. As in they might actually cop on and think to themselves... I'm being a bit of a pain in the ass here when they haven't before. And you're like, well, thank God for that. Then we have the nine of wands in reverse. Defensiveness, boundaries, all that stuff. I think it's difficult to know where to draw the line because as ever with human relationships, it's not completely straightforward. You might like this person, you might feel a bit sorry for them, although perhaps watch that because that is their currency and power. Um, but it's like, where do I draw the line? And we also have the devil in reverse next to it in my wobbly line of cards. Devil in reverse is letting go of attachment, letting go of toxicity. 
I think what this reading is amounting to is if there is this problem, and there won't be for everybody, if there is somebody on the periphery, and it might not be anyone that close to you either, that you have to sound out, deal with, whatever it is. Um, try and be the bigger person because you are the bigger person in this scenario, okay? Almost whether you like it or not. And let me see if I can find, yes! I'm gonna find my slightly darker oracle cards and really hope that the book is there. I think it is, I think I can see it. Let's fiddly widdly biddly mcdiddly bap. Bap? Bap, let's middly bap. Can't speak. Fiddly middly widdly bap. Let's widdly biddly biddly bop back. <laughs> I almost rapped then, didn't I? See, Valentine now asleep. Minnie is in a paper bag downstairs. <laughs> she just loves it. I don't want her to go in plastic bags, so I've got like big, you know, like the ones with the handles that you buy, they put like shoes in if you buy shoes or something. She gets in those, can't get enough of it. Occasionally you don't know she's there and you go to pick it up and she's like, <laughs> oh God, Minnie. She likes a shocker. Okay. Oh gosh. Gosh. The loose note. Oh, I thought they meant like a message that goes astray, but I think it's like the bugler. I've had quite a lot of this lately, actually, around Armistice Day, because obviously I watched the football, and I also, hang on a minute. Oh God, no, that's not the one. Yes, no. Ah, you had hit it, that's so spooky. Yeah, what, I used to play the trumpet. There you go, factoid. Um, so I notice a, a loose note when a, when a bugler is playing. Try saying that after a few tizers. Okay, the loose note, 36. Ooh, this is from The Oracles by Libby Bove. A very unusual and quite exciting and deeper than I've taken it deck. Oh Christ, well at least we escaped the Lonely Heart and the Hoarder, which was the last two. Oh, God almighty, okay. Loose note is about letting go of inhibitions, trying new things and taking a long old toot on that trumpet. Do I need to even say it? I don't. Even though you know it will sound like tripe. Yes, I'm very bad at this. It's a joyous card reminding us to embrace our untamed creative energy in whatever form that may take. But up there in the keywords, it says mania, uncontrollable dance, often accompanied by an air of unbearable smugness. I think folk ladies coming into this. Yes, at the front of the pub. We've all got that in us, people. Uh, the space in between the piano keys is an acquired taste. How non sequiturial is that? I love it. Okay. Go and, go and toot a loose note, as they say, <laughs> and then tell me about it in the comments section. Keep it clean. Check out the readings, the weekly, new, and the monthly. Oh, birdie, 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 birdie. And we have a blackbird with a yellow beak. I'm not sure if it's a jackdaw or what. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.